Greetings, I the War Al greets you, and welcome to Strat Talk, the show where we go a little bit more in depth to analyze strategies from the game Counter Strike Global Offensive. This is the round we're going to be analyzing here. It's the first round between Navi and SK Gaming on the second half of this game. So um, I'm just going to let the auto director here run through this entire round. It's going to go very fast, but uh, afterwards we're going to go a little bit more in depth and show you this really nice, almost near roll of a uh, bombsite B take first round T side strategy dust two. So we'll go through it step by step and check out exactly what happened here. The first thing to look at here are the buys. What the players buy on this first round are going to be very indicative of the strategy that they're going to be trying to do. So over here on the terrorist side for the weapons, it looks like we have two P250 buys here um, instead of using that standard Glock. Um, not too terribly important. They are a little bit expensive though. Um, they've spent pretty much all of their money here on this first round. Um, what we do see is two smoke grenades, and that's very important. Smokes are how you do the strategy. So those two smoke grenades say, we've planned something very specific out here. And they have three decoys as well. Only reason to buy those decoys is to do some kind of false tell against those counter terrorists. So clearly SK Gaming has something completely planned out here. Um, and over here on uh, Navi's side, we have two smokes. Smokes are good for CT to, um, you can smoke middle to get by and not give a tell of how many counter terrorists you have. So that's one of those smokes right there, um, more than likely. The other one, of course, is to prevent players from pushing in a site. And we know that based on their buys, they have to be able to hold off um, I don't see any actual hand grenades, so there's not going to be a nade stack. Um, three players with armor. So one of those smokes probably going to allow them to cross here, probably thrown by Kabakan, who already, already has it out in his hand. And the other smoke probably used to hold off one of the rush positions, being long A and uh, bomb site B. And of course they are using those Glocks. Glocks very powerful on this first round. So right off the bat, we can see how they're sort of set up here in the spawn. They got three players over there very far over at B. I mean, you have to be lying to yourself if you're on this terrorist side. Um, and you're starting over here, and you're not thinking about doing a B rush, a brush. It, it would be, they are in a great position to do that and just run in there. But of course, Navi, high level team, gonna try, I mean, have some sort of countermeasures to deal with any kind of brush strategy, any kind of rush strategy. The two main places where you're going to have a rush uh, on this map are gonna be Bombsite B and long A, because once you get a foothold at long A, it's difficult to hold A site from both short and long. And, and B, obviously, is a brushy spot. There's only one way into B. It's an easy site to hold once you take it. So two places they want to hold right at the start, Navi, is going to be B and A, and they're going to try and stack players in those positions in order to stave off and use sort of countermeasures to stave off any kind of rush play. But of course, SK Gaming is not going for the rush play in the strategy that they're going to do here. And that decoy is over here at long. That's actually very important. So um, they never intended here they absolutely 100% never intended to go long A. However, they're making it look like they're doing a long A push. I mean, the decoy is sort of a dead giveaway to that. And it has worked here. Actually, look at this. Navi has thrown decoys down um, to make it look like they are fully stacked at long A. So Navi fully intends for these players not to push at long A, which is actually really interesting to note as a countermeasure to a kind of push. And we do have Kabak in here throwing the smoke down to prevent these players from pushing um, into bomb site B. So we see these players not going to be a brush. They never intended to rush long or A. All they're trying to do here is get these players to think that they're pushing long so that Navi will stack it. And that'll help them later on in their strategy. I mean, think back to how this looked at the very start where you had, um, sorry, I can't draw on the screen in this, where you had uh, three players inside of T-Spawn over at B-side and two over at mid. What does that look like to you? When you see three players over at the, like, the B-side um, and two at mid, what does that look like they, I mean, that spawn look like to you? It looks like a split B. So this, the entire time, it was always intended to be a split B. However, because it is dust two, let's get our radar here. Because it's dust too, even I mean, even if they are able to take long, if they get a fortuitous shot, it wasn't gonna happen. They're never planning on doing it. They can still take bomb site A. Those two players at B tunnels can go lower B, use that smoke, um, which they should have there. Pitt is the player with the smoke. Actually, no, he is middle. 
Um, maybe, uh, oh, Zelos has a smoke, he is also not over there, so never mind on that, but they could have smoked middle, and then gone, jumped up on the Xbox and gone short A, done a split A, however, once again, never intending to do that, so let's continue with, with this, uh, round here, players walk into B, try not to make any noise, we have one player, looks like he has a decoy here, and at this point, the players now run through middle. They are able to take the shot off on Sterix there, who was holding middle, and they're throwing down the um, the smoke for mid to B. What they've successfully done is kept these counter terrorists here at long. Some of them are rotating back. Um, of course, we have that one inside of CT spawn. But at this point, Navi knows 100% it's going to be a B take. And look at this setup by the terrorists. They have, uh, oh, actually, look at Delpan here. His shot is a little bit to his right, but that's okay. Don't worry, netcode's good. It's just a demo. But yeah, look at this. They got two players inside of B tunnels, getting ready to push into B, and three coming through middle, and three counter-terrorists A side out of position. So they just got these two guys inside of the site to deal with. And look at that, they just run in and completely take him out. That's very important here. The smoke is still down inside of CT spawn, preventing this from player from going over there. How were they able to take this site so easily? Those two counter terrorists did not see it coming. Let's go back and watch that again. What happened? They they were distracted, so let's see what happened from those counter terrorists point of view. Here are the counter terrorists. Both of them are gonna be watching for mid, not even paying attention. Those players were actually directly um, behind them there. So they were completely tricked. The players who moved through middle, they both turned to watch those players coming through middle, completely unaware that the players were actually coming from B. So it was a little bit of an oversight on their part, and it definitely worked out for SK Gaming to hit B uh, from mid and tunnels at the same time. It's just a classic B split. So to recap, Terrorist faked long A to keep a few counter terrorists there, then they took middle, smoking off CT spawn, and did a classic B split, making it difficult for the CTs to watch both sides at once. A classic pincers movement. Now thanks for watching, I hope you learned something. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.